Hey there, it's Linda in Belize. It's time for another Rentals in Belize video. And today we're going to focus on both Placencia and San Pedro. So you'll see Placencia uh, down south on the map, not at the furthest south point where you have Punta Gorda, but a little ways up from Monkey River, you'll see Placencia, which is a peninsula. And a lot of people call it the island you can drive to. And then if you go up farther, you'll see Belize City where you fly in. And north of that, of course, is Ambergris Key and the town of San Pedro. So San Pedro and Placencia will both be covered in this video today. Now, if I know a unit is pet friendly, I'll mention it here, but it is always best to check with the owner or the property manager for details. Now, the other thing I just wanted to mention about rentals is that busy season rates versus summer often will be different. So when you're doing a six month or less lease, keep that in mind if you have a price quoted to you, say for May or June, and you think it'll be the same in the peak season of winter, that's not likely to be the case. The first thing I wanted to show is a map of the Placencia Peninsula to get, give you an idea of where these different rentals will be located. So you can see on the left hand part of the screen Placencia and that is the Placencia village where I live now. And just north of that there's the Placencia Airport, there's Scene Bite, which is a really uh, affordable local town. So I get my groceries there, I get gas there typically. And then if you keep going north, you see Maya Beach, which is where I used to live until I moved in, just before I moved into the village actually. And it's a really nice area too, with lots of amenities, but a little more expensive than the village. And then we have Caribbean Way on the far right that you can see there. And that's a really nice expat community. Now I'm not showing any further just because it would be too small, but uh, north even farther, we do have a couple rentals, uh, one in Placencia Residences that I'm going to show and another one in Riversdale, which is the most, most northern point of the peninsula. So the first property I want to show is the Aqua Studio. It's a main floor unit, which is available now. It's about a five minute bike ride to Placencia Village and the rent is 600 US, including your water, sanitation and Wi-Fi. It is just a one room cabana, but it does have a large veranda and it is pet friendly with an extra $300 deposit. Next, we have the Mangrove apartment, which is a fairly large apartment also available now. It's a ground floor unit and it's just moments away from the airport. Rent on this one is 1400 plus utilities and it is a one bedroom, one bath, but it also has a Murphy bed and there is a shared pool that I'm showing there in the pictures and a shared laundry room. Now let's look at Swallow's Nest, which is another main floor unit, which is available now. And this is located near the Flying Pig. So that's just north of the Placencia Airport. And the Flying Pig is a place we're actually going this afternoon because they have poker games and they have lots of different events there. That's great to be able to walk over to. Uh, the rent on this one is 1500 plus utilities and it's a two bedroom, one bath. And it does have bikes available for use if you do want to take some bike rides over to Placencia Village. Now let's go far north into Riversdale. So Beach Palm Breezes is available now and Riversdale is about 25 minutes to the village and just a few minutes away from Maya Beach. This home has a little bit of a flexibility to it in how it's rented. So if you want the whole house, which is four bedrooms, it's 2100. Or if you just want a two bedroom option, it's 1100 and each one bedroom is $500. So this is great too if you wanted to rent the whole house and have friends come to stay with you. Now Riversdale is a bit quiet, but I do know people that really like living there. One in fact that has kids and she actually works in the village and she says she doesn't mind the drive because they really like the quietness of Riversdale. Next, we have Casa CM, which is also available right away. And the great thing about this property is that it's located in the Placencia Residences, which is a beautiful gated community. So it's located north on the peninsula. Uh, you saw Caribbean Way there, and this is even farther north than that. And if you have a large family or you have a lot of friends coming to visit, this one is four bedrooms and four bathrooms. And you can see the pool out back there in the first picture, and it has a dock as well if you want to bring your boat down. 
So the rent on this one's 3,500 plus utilities. And the other thing that I have to mention is the fact that you have use of the Placencia Hotel amenities. So I've stayed there, has a fantastic pool and beach, and you get to use all of those amenities because it's all one developer there for the lagoon side where this home is, as well as the hotel on the beach side. Now let's get into the San Pedro Ambergis Key rental options. So now let's look at a map of San Pedro. So this is Google Maps here, and you can see if I drill in to San Pedro town, you can see a whole bunch of the different areas here. So the airport runway is right here. And beside there, you have one of my favorite breakfast places, Pat's Deli, Ramon's Village here. And I've always lived down south here. And I'm going to make this a bit smaller. And you can see Mahogany Bay here. And we have a rental that we're going to show there. And going even farther south down the road, you can see Playa de Sala. Now, if we go farther north, this is the bridge that you go over to get to Grand Caribe, the truck stop, Cocoa Beach Resort. And then here is the road to get to Secret Beach. So I do have a property in the area of Secret Beach. Uh, so that kind of gives you an idea of where it is. And the island goes a lot farther here as well. There are some really far north places like Sapphire Beach Resort, but we're not having any rentals up there now. I just wanted to give you a view of what the island looks like. So the first option in San Pedro is the Purple House, and this is a ground floor unit, and it's located south near the gas station. So it's available December 1st on a one-year lease, and the rent is 600 US plus utilities. So it's one bedroom, one bathroom, and it's very walkable to many amenities. If you've bought a lot at Secret Beach and are gonna be building, you may wanna rent close by. So this home is a two bedroom, one bath, and it's available October, 2023. So it's about an eight minute trip to the beach. And of course, the only utility to pay is internet because the homes are off grid at the, in the Secret Beach area. So this one requires a six month lease and the rent is 1100 US and no pets are allowed in this one. Now, if you've watched a lot of my videos, you'll know Grand Bayman is one of my favorite properties. I lived in this unit for about a month in January. And the reason I love it is the great swimming pool, water aerobics, the great bar and restaurant on site. And it is a ground floor unit available mid-January 2024. This one, of course, does have the big community pool and it also has a gym. And a lot of people buy the membership there, but if you're renting there, then of course it's included. So the rent on this one's 1100 plus utilities and it is pet friendly for small dogs which are $75 extra per month. Now if you're interested in a gated community in San Pedro, Mahogany Bay Village may be for you. So my larger home with one bedroom and loft is available starting November 8th and it does include laundry and a dishwasher. There is a plunge pool shared between the two units and the larger unit rents for $16.50 a month plus utilities. And if you have a trained, well-behaved pet, that's $75 per month for the pet fee. And the smaller unit is also available on a short-term basis for rent. So I do rent it if you have friends and family coming to stay for a thousand a month additional plus utilities. And I do use that unit myself when I come to San Pedro. I hope this video has helped and if you are interested in any of these properties, please send me an email with the specific property you're interested in. In addition to this, I often have properties I know of that are available for shorter time frames. As an example, the one right next door to me here on the Placencia sidewalk, I just had a friend come and stay for a month in it. So just let me know what time frame you're looking for and how many bedrooms and I might have other options than what's provided in the video. And I hope to see you soon in Belize.